Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Amen. Let's read verse 1 to 4. Ezekiel chapter 1 verse 1 to 4. Now it came to pass in the 13th year, in the fourth month in of the month, as I was among the captives by the river Chiba, that the heavens were opened. In the fifth day of the month, which was the fifth year of King Jehoiakim captivity, the word of the Lord came expressly unto Ezekiel, the priest, the son of Buza, in the land of the Chaldeans by the river Sheba. And the hand of the Lord was upon him. And I looked and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north and a great cloud and a fire enfolding itself and a brightness was about it. And out of the midst thereof as a color of amber, out of the midst fired verse 5 also out of the midst came the likeness of four living creatures and this was their appearance they had the likeness of a man and jump over to chapter 37 verses 12 13 and 14 chapter 37 amen Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Lord when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves. And I shall put my spirit in you, and he shall live, and I shall place you in your own land. Then shall he know that I, the Lord, have spoken it, and perform it, saith the Lord. Verse 14, and I shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Turn to two persons and say, God say live. All right. You don't talk like you believe it. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord say live. Give me some better money to hear on the mic. Better money on the mic, please. Praise God. Hallelujah. Just shout a hallelujah in the house. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise. You may be seated in the awesome presence of God. Amen. Greetings to Elder Lloyd. Come on, give the Lord thanks in the name of the Lord. Amen. To the eldership of the house. Amen. To all the officers of this great house. Amen. To all the saints of the Most High God, we salute you another time in that name that is above every other name. The name, the name Jesus. We have read from the major prophet by the name of Ezekiel. The first chapter of Ezekiel's prophecy details his inaugural vision from God. As Ezekiel stood by Babylon's river called Sheba. And while he sat among the captives in Babylon, a foreign land, as they were taken from their land, uh, the prophet says that while they sat by the river mourning, an enormous cloud. Amen. With a ring of fire filled the northern sky and rushed towards the captives. It was sudden as the emerging cloud. 
Amen. And when the prophet looked in the cloud, he saw some creatures that were not earthly creatures. And Ezekiel said they had four wings and four faces. They had a face of a human. They had a face of a lion. They had a face of an ox. And they had a face of an eagle. But when the prophet looked again. He saw wheels within the wheels. And then he looked again. Then he saw a figure of one seated on a throne. And he was surrounded with brightness. Which was the awesomeness of the glory of God. The prophet was awestruck and was with much fear. When he saw the glory. As a matter of fact. It is said that he collapsed on the ground. As Ezekiel received his divine call to prophesy. You can't prophesy. Except God call you. Glory be to God. How can the preacher preach except he sent right in captivity sitting beside the canal of Babylon with the complaint of the captives in the midst of the horror God appear. The Lord knows how to show up in the midst of despair. Hallelujah. When it seems that all hopes are gone, He becomes a present help in the time of trouble. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Never have to give up on God. Doesn't matter how rough it seems. Doesn't matter how dark it seems. This is 70 years of Babylonian captivity. Hallelujah. But in the midst of their servitude. As they sat by the river Sheba. God showed up for the captives. Glory be to God. And the Lord gave Ezekiel his ministry. The prophecy of Ezekiel is unique. Uh, very little is known of the prophet Ezekiel. And Ezekiel is the one who saw the departure of the glory of God. But the Lord said, Ezekiel, I made you a watchman over the nation. Hallelujah. And the Lord said, Ezekiel, if the righteous turn and you don't rebuke them, their blood is on your shoulder. But if you correct him and he changes his way, his blood is not on your shoulder. He says, Ezekiel, you are the one that is called to watch over the nation. And as he prophesied to the captives, Hallelujah. He said that the Lord is going to change his people. 
He says, I'm going to give them a new heart. I'm going to give them a heart of flesh. Right now they have a heart of stone. But I'm going to change their hearts. That when they hear my words, they're going to respond to my words. Hallelujah. Ezekiel now is the pastor for the exile. Stood in the gap between, between the captives and the people. Glory be to God. And the Lord said, prophesy. Show Israel what they are. And the Lord brought Ezekiel to a wall. And when Ezekiel looked at the wall, Ezekiel said, Lord, I see a wall. But the Lord said, break down the walls. And when he broke down the walls, he saw the elders and the people worshiping another God. Hallelujah. Shout a glory. And the Lord said, this is the abomination of my people. Oh, glory be to God. But while Ezekiel lamented and cried, the Lord said, dry up your tears now. I'm going to do a thing in Israel. For I will not leave myself without a witness. Tell them hallelujah. Prophesy to them and said, Behold, my people, you are dead. You're in a grave. They cover you. Hallelujah. The enemy cover you. The enemy brought you to the cemetery. The enemy sung their songs over you. The enemy put a foot stone over your head. But tell my people. I'm stepping into the cemetery and I'm going to open their graves. Oh, hallelujah. Shout a glory. Shout a glory. Tell my people, I'm going to step right in and I'm going to undo your grave. Hallelujah. And I'm going to put my spirit inside of you. I don't know who God is talking to right now, but they bury you. Maybe a year ago, maybe three years ago, and they put a stone over your head and said, Sunset, hallelujah. But the Lord said, Otelia, I'm dismounting right now. The Lord said, Otelia, I'm coming to the cemetery. I'm going to look for your grave. I'm going to move the gravestone. I'm going to enter into the grave. I'm going to put my spirit 